Aloha! Let's play Hanafuda Hawaii style. First, let's look at the cards. Hanafuda cards are from Japan. The name Hanafuda literally means flower cards. The cards may seem smaller than what many of us are used to. There are 12 suits of 4 cards for a total of 48. Each suit represents a month of the year with a flower or plant. A suit is called a hiki. Let's review the different suits. The pine represents January. Plum blossoms represent February. March is represented by the cherry blossoms. The wisteria are for April. The irises are for May. Peonies represent June. Bush clover represents July. The Suzuki grass is for August. Chrysanthemums are for September. Maple is for October. The willow is for November. And finally, December is represented by the polonia tree. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the suits. Traditionally, Hanafuda cards have no markings on them, just pictures. To make learning the game a little easier, Hanafuda Hawaii style cards have some playing aids. On the top left, the cards have point values. Cards with no point value are left blank. In the top right corner is the name of the month in Japanese. On the bottom are Japanese letters that help you to make special bonus combinations called yaku. We'll get to that later. Let's review. Each suit represents a month of the year. A suit is called a hiki. Hanafuda cards are arranged in 12 suits of 4 cards. Hanafuda Hawaii style cards have points, suit, and yaku on the face of each card. Now let's get to the basics of how to play. For our example, we will be demonstrating with three players. Hanafuda Hawaii style is a matching game, and you win by collecting the most points. For the very first game, everybody draws one random card from the deck. Remember, each suit or hiki represents a month of the year. The person with the earliest month in the year is the dealer. Here's how to deal the cards. The person to the dealer's left shuffles the cards. The person to the dealer's right cuts the cards. The dealer then deals the cards. The dealing chart shows how many cards to deal. For three players, each player is dealt seven cards for their hand, and six cards are dealt face up in the field. The rest are left in a drawing stack. The dealer starts the game with the first turn. First, she chooses a card from her hand to match with the card in the field. If she makes a match, she places the match on top of the card in the field so that everyone can see. She then takes both cards and places any cards with points in front of her. Cards with no points can be discarded in a discard pile. Next, she draws a card from the drawing stack and tries to match it with a card in the field. If she can make a match, she places the card on top of the matching card in the field, places any point cards in front of herself, and discards any cards with no points. If she cannot match the drawn card to any in the field, she must leave the card she drew in the field. The play then proceeds to the right. The next player first tries to match a card from his hand. If he can't match a card from his hand, he must still leave a card in the field. He then draws a card from the drawing stack. If he can't make a match, he must leave the card in the field. The next player to the right does the same. So that's the basic game. Take one card from your hand, then one from the drawing stack. Leave any cards you can't match in the field. The play continues until there are no cards left in the player's hands. Cards can be worth 5, 10, or 20 points. The 20 point cards are, the 10 point cards are, the 5 point cards are. At the end of the game, count the points, and the player with the most points wins. If there's a tie with the dealer, the dealer wins. If there's a tie between players other than the dealer, the player closest to the dealer's right is the winner. The winner of the game becomes the dealer for the next game. Now that you have the basics, 
Here are a few special rules. The Gaji, or lightning card, is part of the November Willow suit. This card can be used as a wild card to match with any card regardless of suit. If you have the Gaji card in your hand, you can use it to match with any card in the field. If you draw it from the drawing stack, you can use it to take any card in the field or leave it in the field. If it is already in the field, you can only match it with other cards from the Willow suit. When you use the Gaji as a wild card to capture a card from a different suit, leave the Gaji on top of the captured card in your point section. At the end of the game, any cards left over from the captured suit go to the player with the Gaji card. Another special rule is the Hiki rule. Remember, a Hanafuda suit is called a Hiki. If at the beginning of a game all four cards of a Hiki are in the field, the dealer gets all four cards. If a player has any combination of cards in the hand or in the field that complete a Hiki, that player can call a Hiki and claim all four cards at any time in the game. The only time the player must call a Hiki is if another player tries to capture one of the cards with the Gaji. The player holding the Hiki must say Hiki and take the cards off the field immediately. Finally, we get to the Yaku. Remember the Japanese letters on the bottom of some cards? These letters are to help you recognize the Yaku or special three card bonus combinations. There are eight bonus combinations of three cards. If you have one of these combinations at the end of the game, all of the other players must subtract 50 points from their score. The eight Yaku are Cherry Blossom with Curtain, Moon, and Chrysanthemum with Rice Wine Cup. First three months of the year, January, February, and March, Red Banners with Writing, Blue Banners, The Flower Yaku, Peony with Butterflies, Chrysanthemum with Sake Cup, and Maple with Deer. Red Banners with No Writing, Notice that the cards in this Yaku have confetti in the background. Be careful not to include the willow. The grass Yaku, wisteria with cuckoo, iris with bridge, and bush clover with wild boar. And finally, the living things Yaku, bush clover with wild boar, grass with geese, and maple with deer. Notice that some cards are part of more than one Yaku. Keep an eye out to capture these cards or prevent your opponents from getting these cards. Sometimes, cards hold more value than their points suggest. To play with Yaku, just play Hanafuda Hawaii style like you normally would. At the end of the game, count everyone's points. Then see who has made Yaku or three card bonus combinations. For every Yaku a player makes, all of the other players must subtract 50 points. So, if player 1 makes a Yaku, players 2 and 3 have to subtract 50 points each. If player 1 makes 1 Yaku, and player 2 makes 2 Yaku, then player 1 must subtract 100 points, player 2 must subtract 50 points, and player 3 must subtract 150 points. So that's basically how to play Hanafuda Hawaii style. Have fun! Let us know if you have any questions and visit our website at www.hanafudahawaii.com.